All right. This is Ejinaton, and this is my first arch tempered Kirin run. I will not take long, okay? I will just uh, say a few things and put on some music. Alright, first, uh, yes, I use mantles. I usually don't use mantles, but I still did because I want to try to win this on my first time so that. I can show how I know. I can show people that I can do it. <laughs> I usually lose to new monsters the first time, so this is kind of new to me. Also, uh, as you can see, this Kieran has an annoying headbutt, which is actually doing quite some damage. It can be done very quickly, and this. Mantle is OP. Yeah. Even for every little lightning, you're dodging. Is that is that even a is that a way to help us or a way to help us cheat through the game? Because I think that's what it is for, you know. This mantle should have never existed. Uh, actually, any no mantle should have existed. <coughs> but except for like for example attack mantle or something you know like you evade something without extra eye frames okay if you just evade something you can get for example attack boost maybe that will actually force people like maybe using uh, evasion window and people will get their f benefit of evasion window because as of right now their skills they don't really benefit much except for dodging things, you know? Yeah, so it becomes almost like equivalent, right? But uh, I understand though that so you want noobs to, to have good times as us and speed running and stuff like that because they're getting offensive stuff. Oh, guys. Uh, you know how to dodge without evasion window, right? So, in this game, it's totally possible. Most things you can evade with, without evasion window. And then we'll just tackle cough, cough, huh? That's the one of the things I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> so, let's compare things. Uh, Arch Tempered Kirin compared to Tempered Devil Joe. I think Tempered Devil Joe is maybe a bit harder, a bit more annoying. I just noticed that I can see the uh, I can see that I can actually kill that Kirin faster than Devil Joe if I didn't mess up in the middle of the fight uh, because in the middle of the fight he's limping away and well yeah for taking away thirty percent of its life it took me the same amount of time that I took away seventy percent of its life the first run so it's pretty dumb I call it beat him in like 15 minutes you know top you know but no game doesn't want it because the tempered Kirin for some reason knows how to hit you especially with me but like I said it will not take it long uh, okay I thought first tempered it's arch tempered Kirin was gonna be harder and I had like a new move because that's what I've been reading from people but yeah yeah people just speculate right but I thought it was a real thing it wasn't real so it's a bit deceiving even though it's a hell of a fight though <laughs> but I'm afraid for the Volhazag that it's gonna be too easy People will like to farm the Volhazak. No one is going to farm the Kirin, okay? Everybody is going after the Volhazak. Because that's where the easy shit is. And trust me, you know, the only dangerous thing about Volhazak is this fucking beam that for some reason or people cannot dodge it or something or just don't know when to run away. Or the fact that people be stay behind his back thinking it's okay 
but actually it's the worst place to stand, it's behind his back. The tail is so damn delaying that it keeps on hitting you. It's easier to evade something that hits directly. Uh, but on a side note, uh, this is Guts, and I'm using, as you can see, I survived thanks to Guts. And every time you die, you get uh, your Guts is reset, so it's not a useless skill. It's not useless. Okay, back to the subject. So yeah, I actually want to downvote Capcom. See this bullshit? You see this bullshit? This should never have happened, you know, because I was far away from it. So yeah. Um, like I said, downvote Capcom for that. Uh, they didn't really do their best, they just add some HP multiplier. Wow. Giving you double HP just like a hyper monster. Uh, anyways, it's a bit sad. So, even more sadder for Falhazak. He's gonna get raped so hard. People want to gonna form this creature. And Capcom has no idea what they're doing. But, but thank you for the amazing game, Capcom. At least I, at least Capcom uh, gave me hope, you know, like like playing good games. Because with Testa, how long do you have to wait for these guys? And also because the is getting kind of old quick, you know, and it's cancerous as hell. PvP, oh, what I mean is the PvP is cancerous. So I really hope uh, for a G rank soon, like maybe in a few months or something, will be cool. It's like restarting the game, but for me, yeah, for me actually it's the same thing. It's restarting the game, but getting further, you know. Also, uh, I'm also gonna get the English version of Moss Hunter. Uh, Generation Ultimate, even though I think World is the best one out there in terms of mechanic and everything. Uh, when I when I compare the Switch X from this game to the to the Generation, uh, there's some kind of mixed feelings, you know. Generation is very clunky. Yeah, Switch X, especially Switch X, so clunky. It's like I'm, uh, I don't know, it's like I'm stuck It's some mud or something. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, so I uh, hope maybe, uh, you know, like share your comments about how you feel about this Kirin. I, I, I appreciate it. So, um, see you later, guys.
thought about speedrunning uh, this fast. Yeah, okay, um, am I going to speedrun the Skirin? Probably not. <laughs> I, I can't imagine how much hatred uh, I will have in the end of the day or weeks. There are already speedruns, yeah, from Kantori and other people. It was really fast. 7 of 7. Um, but there's something else I want to talk about speedrunning, and, and that is when you go with the mentality of speedrunning, which is actually my case mostly, fail most of the time because you are doing things which you're not supposed to do, like you're taking too much risk because you want to do more damage. And I understand completely, you, you want to do that damage. And but the problem is, you forgot, you forget how to position yourself in most of the cases. Yeah. And it's like you just go head on and attack. It can happen, you know. And then you get a bit frustrated and ah, you're doing it wrong. And you keep on doing wrong because you're frustrated. So when you go with the mentality of uh, beautiful having a beautiful fight with a Kiryu or whatever creature, you know, like when you just think about your style yeah, it works better than trying to speed run, you know that's mostly the reason why most things happen accidentally accidentally there's also the, a way, you know, that you're like, wow and then every time I got a certain speed run I was actually more focused on how to fight it and not what's the best way to do as much TPM as possible. Because whenever I do that kind of TPS thinking, I keep screwing up. I just wanted to uh, put it up for people that are getting frustrated by speedrunning. Just never think of it. It's like desire sense of the uh, monster hunter is like anti-desire sensor. <laughs> it's like they, it hates you to have desire. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, also, um, I'm thinking about what they're going to do with the arch type of monsters. Are they going to release What's that, a stronger version? Like what? Like uh, like super arch tempered monsters with uh, bouncing off mechanics that would be crazy and also very annoying for those who know what I'm talking about from the apex monsters I only fought Diablo, uh, apex Diablos like there's only one I constantly fought even though it was a bit hard I still like to fight in them. Um, but the other Apex Monsters, not my cup of tea. Now, um, please buff Arch Tempered Monsters. Please buff. They really need a buff asset, you know? Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, yeah, wow. I hope people are gonna watch me and stuff, but you don't have to sub, you know. I'm just here for uh, entertainment. I'm not trying to get a deal with YouTube, whatever. I'm okay with my life. <laughs> so, you know. Um, so, uh, what do you think about Kieran? Just put it in a comment. See ya.